Let's face it, you can spend hours on your phone or playing video games without even noticing time passing. But when it comes to studying or working on your side project, even 30 minutes feels like a marathon. This isn't just laziness or a lack of discipline. The answer lies in how your brain works, specifically in the chemical messenger dopamine. Dopamine is often called the pleasure molecule, but it's more accurate to call it the motivation molecule. It drives you to seek rewards, pushing you to chase things you find fulfilling, whether it's finishing a project or eating your favorite snack. To understand how powerful dopamine is, let's look at a famous experiment with rats. Scientists placed electrodes in rats' brains to stimulate their reward centers whenever they pressed a lever. The result? The rats pressed the lever over and over, ignoring food, water, or sleep until they collapsed from exhaustion. But when scientists blocked the rats' ability to produce dopamine, the opposite happened. The rats lost all motivation. They wouldn't even get up to drink water unless it was placed directly in their mouths. This experiment highlights a critical fact. Dopamine doesn't just make you feel good, it's what gives you the drive to act in the first place. You might not be a rat in a lab, but your brain works similarly. Activities that release large amounts of dopamine, like scrolling through social media, eating junk food, or gaming, feel exciting and easy to repeat. Meanwhile, activities that release less dopamine, like studying, exercising, or cleaning, feel boring or hard to start. Over time, this creates a dangerous cycle. Your brain's reward system adapts to constant dopamine spikes by developing tolerance. Just like someone who drinks coffee regularly needs more caffeine to feel awake, your brain needs more dopamine to feel motivated. As a result, low dopamine activities become even less appealing. Why this cycle is dangerous? In today's world, we're constantly bombarded with high dopamine stimuli. For example, social media trains you to expect constant rewards, likes, comments, new posts. Video games provide quick, intense dopamine spikes with each achievement. Junk food gives your brain a quick hit of pleasure, even if it's unhealthy. This endless loop of dopamine release isn't just unproductive. It can make everyday life feel dull. To break free from this cycle, you need to give your brain a break. This is where a dopamine detox comes in. The idea is simple. Spend one day avoiding all high dopamine activities. That means no social media or internet browsing, video games or binge watching TV, sugary snacks or junk food, music, excessive chatting, or other instant gratification habits. Instead, focus on low stimulation activities like going for a walk, meditating or journaling, reflecting on your goals, writing down ideas on paper not your phone. This might sound extreme, but the goal is to reset your brain's reward system. By reducing dopamine spikes, you allow your brain to become more sensitive to natural, lower dopamine activities. What happens during a detox? Think of it like resetting your taste buds. If you've been eating rich, sugary foods for weeks, a bowl of plain rice might seem tasteless. But if you stop eating sweets for a while, that same rice starts to taste much better. The same principle applies to dopamine. After a detox, even mundane tasks like reading or organizing can feel more engaging because your brain is no longer overstimulated. How to start? If a full detox sounds intimidating, try starting small. Pick one high dopamine activity, like checking your phone, and avoid it for a day. You'll likely feel bored, but that's the point. Boredom pushes you to fill your time with other, more productive activities. Over time, you can build up to longer detoxes or remove multiple high dopamine habits. The key is consistency. Once you've reduced your dependency on high dopamine activities, you can start using dopamine strategically to boost motivation. For example, reward yourself. After completing an hour of studying or exercising, allow yourself 15 minutes of social media or a favorite show. Track progress. Set clear goals and celebrate small wins to create a sense of achievement. Shift priorities. Gradually connect dopamine to productive habits, like working on a side project or learning something new. By making high dopamine activities a reward instead of a default, you'll train your brain to prioritize long-term benefits over short-term gratification. Dopamine is essential. It's what drives us to pursue our goals and seek growth. But in a world overflowing with instant gratification, 
it's easy to let it control us. A dopamine detox isn't just about reducing distractions. It's about regaining control of your brain's reward system so you can focus on what truly matters. So, the choice is yours. Will you let dopamine dictate your actions or will you use it to create the life you want? Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.